Hi friends. Uh, in the previous video, I was already explained how we can exchange data between two external memories, right? So in this video, let us see how we can move n number of bytes from internal RAM to external RAM. So here, let us see how to move n number of bytes from internal RAM locations to external uh, RAM locations. Let us see how to write the program. See the topic. Write an assembly language program. See, write an assembly language program to transfer or to move n bytes from internal RAM to external memory of 8051 microcontroller. With the help of 8051 microcontroller, okay, with the help of instruction set of 8051 microcontroller, we should transfer n number of bytes from internal RAM to external memory location. Let us see how to write the program. So, what is first step? First, we should select or count. For example, I need to move 5 bytes, for example. Then, how to select move R0, comma, ash 05H is my count. So, my bytes, number of bytes should be 05. I need to select one register for selecting internal RAM. For example, my internal RAM I am considering starts from 50H with the help of R1 register. So, in this in first instruction, R, R0 is equal to 05. In second one, what happens? This R0 only for count my n, n number of bytes should be 5. So, R1 indicates the selection of internal RAM. Internal RAM I am selecting starts from 50, then 50, 51, 52, like that up to 5. So, 50 to 54 comes under R1 for that. We are using R1. Similarly, for selecting uh, external memory, we use DPTR register. For example, external memory starting address is, for example, 6000 H. 6000 H I am taking. Okay. So, first, what is first step? First, what is our first step? First, we should move data from internal RAM to external memory. So, only accumulated register can send the data from internal RAM to external memory. So, the communication of external memory is possible only with accumulator. For that, I am writing like this here. Move A comma at the rate R1. In this instruction, what happens? A takes data from 50H memory location. Okay, then that particular data we need to send to 6000. For that, move X because it's external memory. That's why move X at the rate DBTR comma A. Then in that case, what happens? A sending the data that is present in 50H memory location to 6000 memory location like that only one byte is moved from internal RAM to external memory like that how many bytes are present n bytes in our example 0 5 for that what happens I am writing increment R1 my R1 is incrementing means my internal RAM memory is you now changed to 50 to 51 similarly increment DPL we can write DPTR also not a problem DPL so 6000 becomes now 6001 because DPL lower uh, size than 6000 becomes 6001 for that lower byte only effective that's why increment DPL is okay. 6000 becomes 6001. Then decrement. So there is one command that is right away. Decrement jump no zero. Which register we are checking whether that no zero is occurred or not. Or not. For the decrement jump no zero or not. Comma loop L1. Where it will go for example. In this instruction what happens in this instruction. R1 is incrementing. Then R1 becomes 51. DPT are also incrementing. It becomes 6001. Then decrement jump no zero means uh, R naught is decrementing and it becomes zero four. Okay, is it zero zero? No, zero four is not zero zero. Then it will go here. It will go here. Okay, then in that case, what happens? A takes data from fifty one. Okay, that data is moved to six thousand one. Again, R one is incrementing. Again, DPTR is incrementing like that. This loop repeats for how many times? Five times because count is five. Like that, five bytes uh, easily move from internal RAM to external memory. End, end of the program. This is the program for uh, moving n number of bytes. In this example, 5 bytes from internal RAM to internal ROM. That is how to write, pro how to type same program. Just open keel for that uh, keel version. Okay, version 5, just open. So already one program is there. Just I am stop that program. I am just opening project, new project. Okay, so new project, for example, my title of the new project is program 4. Okay, I am selecting like a program for then it will ask uh, device details. So, what is the device we should select for 8051? AT89C51. AT89C51 comes under microchip family. Select this one. Okay. Now, startup.a51 is not required here. 
okay we get uh, one new project of title prog for program 4 okay after that uh, we should type program for that select the file then select new we get like this one one window in that you type you use, use just uh, copy our uh, program copy then paste here okay if you want you can enlarge okay, like this then what is the next step save save this one what is the file name i am considering for example program 4 that's why prog4 dot asm it's a asm assembly language program that's why asm save okay after saving what happens select a target in that select a plus symbol of target in that uh, source group we don't have any files here then select a source group in that group you make it this uh, asm file here for that select this one make it right click and uh, select add existing files to this group in that you make it program prog4 dot asm okay add then close now after adding what happened there is a plus symbol if you want you can just select this we get the same program here okay, after uh, making a program for project under that uh, if you make it like a uh, our assembly language program then build a target means we should compile it with the build a target select this build a target okay so we don't have any error zero errors zero warning so everything is okay after that what happens select debug then select start or stop debug session initially first time start okay then second time it should act like a stop so initially start debug it will ask whether the instruction size is more than 2k no okay now it is okay okay like that we are entered then what is next step select uh, which how many are required first we need 50h memory location okay for our required uh, values then later we should verify same things in 6000 location first select uh, internal ram right for that uh, select uh, memory window okay in that uh, this is for actually external memory you keep it as it is because the external memory starts from 6000 so for selecting external memory x colon 0 x 6000 in that initially no uh, see defaultly all are reset to, reset so that's why all are zeros okay similarly you take another window okay where it is available select view in that uh, there is a memory window already we are selecting memory 1 then so let us see memory 2 also parallelly if you observe memory 2 which location we are selecting 50 so d colon for selecting internal ram it, no, the command should be d colon memory which memory 50h so select 50h so now in 50h what happens uh, how many we need to select from 50 five location 50 51 52 53 54 four uh, five locations total 50 0 0 is available then i am modifying it into 0 1 okay just double click on that particular uh, location value modify with our required value 0 2 then for example next location 0 3 next location for example 0 4 okay just double click it and change it to our required value 0 5 like that uh, five locations i am taking uh, because the count is five that's why five location 52 50 51 52 53 54 all those five locations now i am giving uh, my required uh, value 0 1 1 2 3 4 5 like that so after giving all these values where i need to check whether these values are moved or not we need to verify in 6000 locations for that we should uh, run step by step 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 by each line first now our cursor is at uh, move or not comma as you know let us see okay we'll end all this one also hmm. now let us see first time uh, uh, press f11 or uh, you can directly select this one step function step one line each time So now first let us see first instruction I'm executing. After that, what is my R naught? It becomes zero five. See here, my R naught register becomes zero five. Then again step R one. What is R one value? It becomes fifty. Okay. Then next. Then next. What is next one? Now press this one. DPTR. DPTR is what is the value? Six thousand. See DPTR is value six thousand. Then what is next one? Move here at the rate R one. If you execute it, what happens? Let us see. So A takes data from fifty location. Which data is available? Zero one. See here, that zero one is now enter into A. A now receive zero one value because fifty H memory location contains zero one. Zero one is now enter into A. Then next, okay, next just run one more instruction. Increment R one. What is R one value now? Initially fifty. Okay, now this instruction move X other A D P T R comma A. So then what happens? So the data that is present in fifty location is now move the data to six thousand. See here. 6000 originally it is 00 now after that what happens 01 is now moved to 6000 location like that uh, one byte is moved from internal ram to external ram okay 
now like next increment r1 if you increment it what is r1 now 50 becomes 51 let us say 51 then increment dpt r 6000 becomes now 6001 okay then decrement jump no zero in that case what happens uh, now your r r naught is decrementing let us see r naught is decrementing from 0 5 to which value 0 4 again it will execute same instruction then my a takes data from which one 51 which data it will take 0 2 if you verify press this one automatically a becomes 0 2 it will take data from 51 0 2 so here 0 2 it will take then again one more time uh, next instruction executed what is our uh, now move x at the rate dbtr comma a means if you see 6001 location now receiving which value 0 2 so what is 0 2 actually the data that is present in 51 so now this 51 location data is now moved to external ram of location uh, 6001 like that uh, if you run all instruction now this loop repeats for how many times five times because my count is five okay let us say after five times movement okay then 0 3 is entered into 6000 6000 6000 6002 6002 now contains 03 like that press uh, like that this loop repeats for uh, five times okay now 04 is entered into 6003 05 is entered into 6004 like that uh, five bytes starts from 50h to 54h is now moved to uh, uh, external memory location 6000 to 6004h automatically okay so with the help of this program with the help of this program, it is clear that we can move we can move n number of bytes from internal RAM to external memory location easily. So thank you for watching this video. If you really like, please kindly share my video to your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you.